Yesterday we hosted His Grace, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Samuel Kazimba, and he made a very great sermon, which touched me and I promised him I would share with you a few snapshots of that sermon. His sermon emphasized peace and emphasized that we should strive at all times to have peace. Number one, peace with God. Number two, peace with our neighbors. And number three, peace with ourselves. Now, the one, the most important aspect, the aspect of having peace with ourselves. Because if you cannot have peace with yourself, then you cannot have it with God, you cannot have it with your neighbors. And he touched a very important topic of how we, as MPs, some of us are walking wars. You know, we are boiling, either from pressures of the constituency, or from pressures of where we work, or from pressures of the public, and we are not able to sustain it, and then we end up passing it on to others. And most importantly, is us overstretching ourselves. Honorable colleagues, you know it's been a very difficult year, where we've had some of our colleagues in prison over deaths. And he touched on that important point, because we as MPs, we overstretch ourselves. I want to add you, honorable colleagues, that let's develop resilience and the strength to say, no, this is where I can stop. You don't need to go and you reach near an extent of committing suicide because an opponent is in a constituent. There are better ways. Let's support each other. If we can reduce on fights among our colleagues, if women, uh, if women MPs, constituents MPs can support each other, you will find it much easier in your constituency and in your districts. But if you are working for the downfall of your colleague, then it might also end up taking you, because we know cases in the last parliament where there are those who work for the downfall of others and ended up also going. So I urge you, honorable colleagues, it is much easier to support each other than fighting each other. It's much cheaper. It is much cheaper to contribute to a colleague than to contribute to fighting a colleague. And you will build a much bigger firewall against any forces coming for you in the constituent, if you are doing it together than thinking for you, you can do it alone and you leave others to go. Our dream is to ensure that the attrition rate reduces. We hope and would want to see most of you back. We pray for you, would want each one and every one of you back. That, that's what, okay? Other issues are issues we discuss internally as a team, but above all, when you go deeper and you look at the downfall of most MPs, it's coming from among us colleagues. Where we start fighting each other, instead of using your money to build a constituency, you, build your money, you use your money to, to destroy a colleague. So I would urge you that from now, since we are about to go into a campaign period, let's work together, let's build synergies. And don't get overstressed. Enjoy being an MP. We no longer want you to be miserable for being an MP. Yesterday I told the colleagues that we are MPs in every way. When you're campaigning, you're an MP. That's a money person. After winning, to, uh, to the constituency again still an MP, a miserable, pa uh, I mean person. After going into prison and you're in the newspapers and everywhere, you're still an MP, a, a miserable person. Why? This is not a matter of life and death. Let's enjoy being in parliament. Let's enjoy it. 
but we shall achieve it better by supporting each other. With those uh, remarks, allow me to read the speech of the Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament, who sent her greetings, special greetings uh, to you. Honourable colleagues, it is with immense honour and gratitude that I will come you to this end of year party for honourable members of parliament and staff of the parliamentary commission. This is not just a party, but a get together to commemorate a year unlike any other. A year in which we have achieved immense milestones in the execution of our mandate of oversight, legislation, representation and appropriation. We have also overcome various challenges in both our official and private lives. It is only befitting that we pause and thank the Almighty God for enabling us, saying thus far, Ebenezer. As we gather here today, I want us to appreciate each other for the support we have individually and collectively rendered to one another. At the end of the day, our diversity should be a unifying factor that galvanizes all our varied strengths for the good of society. As we head to the festive season, I urge you all to enjoy sparingly as we have a busy start to the new year 2024 with the Commonwealth Speakers Conference running from 3rd to 6th January 2024 and the consideration of the National Budget Framework Paper for which sectoral committees have up to 15th of January to report back. I therefore urge you to wind up your festivities immediately after Boxing Day and be available for various tasks that may be assigned to you in regard to the forthcoming conference and your committee obligations. In the same vein, I commend the staff who in many ways are our unsung heroes. They are honorable colleagues, let's clap for our staff led by the clerk. <laughs>